This place is so boozy. I don't think you guys realize how underdressed I am. Help, 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 help. I don't know how to start the machine because it's in Italian. What the f This is the worst review gym in LA. Really? It's two stars. Wow. What do you think's behind these doors? Let's just hope that nobody was standing there when that came down. I also saw someone deal someone drugs at the front desk. I feel like they should be sued for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's your stack? Uh. A common belief is if it costs more, therefore it's better. And I don't believe it to be true, but to find out for sure, we're gonna be visiting the most expensive and cheapest gym in LA. The first gym we're going to is the most expensive gym, coincidentally in the hotel I'm staying at on the seventh floor called Attitude Fitness, 4.9 stars and $265 per month. Let's go check it out. It's a fancy lobby for a gym, that's for sure. Usually I'm on my way up to the penthouse for a different kind of fitness. It is absolutely beautiful in here. It kind of reminds me of a red room. This is not where you want to get pinned down. So can the manager just show me around the place? And apparently there's a member cap of 380 people. So this is as busy as it gets. And there's literally nobody. It's like your own private gym. If your form's not right, everybody's going to see it. You're on the seventh floor. So you got the beautiful view of LA. You can see all the LA traffic and people who somehow think that in and out is good. Can I blame the seventh floor's elevation so I don't do cardio? All this stuff along the wall here, all the way down, is purely cardio. There's three different treadmills, but I've never seen this machine before. Look at this. It's for your arms. So if you're a bro and you respect cardio, but you're committed to skipping legs, this is the machine for you. This is like the dry land equivalent of seniors aquatic aerobics. We're gonna see how many calories that I can burn in five minutes on this thing. Will I last five minutes? Probably not. Oh, this is tough, man. Apparently this is for like boxers or if you're gonna train shoulders to help loosen up the rotator cuffs. Two minutes, I'm tapping out. We burned 10 calories. I feel like I lost two inches on my arms. Let's move on. Pathetic, man. Take a look at these screens on these treadmills right now. They're literally flat screens. You have like YouTube on here so you can watch me. You got Netflix. I'm getting overwhelmed by languages. I wanna work on my Italian. We're gonna go with Italian here. It's for Katie. How do you start this thing? Now I don't know how to start the machine because it's in Italian, but we're gonna figure it out. Or is that a way, is that a way to skip cardio? Oh, there we go. You put Netflix on, you put Mission Impossible. It would be like a poor man's VR experience here. You really? Come here. Okay, how do we slow down in Italian? Let's slow down in Italian. What's slow down in Italian? Slow down. Who's gonna go on Instagram on the treadmill? Are you gonna be sliding in DMs while you're here? The Wi Fi is looking kind of slow. All right. What the f? Just lost a star here for me. Cardio done. We're gonna train some chest right now. They only have one bench press in the entire gym. But what's more LA than waiting for something, right? Look at this. If you're below six feet, they got, they got these for you. If you're small, but I'm not, so I'm gonna put them, I'm putting them back up. Okay. This bar has some girth. Everybody's watching, because it's so open. It's the eagle lifter's dream here. Eagle lifter's dream. Help, 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 help. Ken calls the free weight area no man's land because none of the members train with the free weights. They're all with the machines and cardio. So it's practically like it's your own private gym. Like the guy over there literally has his laptop on the dumbbell rack. In the middle of our rest time, and look at this. If you're thirsty, you need to quench your thirst. Look at this. Look how thirst quenching that looks. I just want to dunk my head in that thing. A little bit of citrus in there. If you're into the functional fitness, it's not for me. Set number five, 295 pounds going in the bar, which would be a PR, so if I get it, five reps paused, you have to subscribe and like this video and comment down below, Will, your chest is so strong, okay?
Yep. Uh, I didn't have Katy Perry on. No music. No music. Here's the rest of No Man's Land. We got Joey over there on the squat rack. The only squat rack just putting in work right now. Love it. And then over here we have some dumbbells. They go up to 120 pounds, which is still pretty good. Most gyms go to 100, so can't complain. But now let's take a look at the machines. People on Instagram will say no death. There's literally a flat screen TV in front of here. And it's gonna count our reps, hello. Oh, this just feels so right. <sighs> That was the bunny logo when it's too slow and the smiley face when it's good tempo. Can't you see I'm doing negatives? This machine feels so good, it's a nice scoop. My chest is so pumped. There's no better way you get discovered in LA than show off your chest. At this price point in LA, you'd expect like the members here to have like their own personal weight caddies loading the bars for them. But everybody here seems really nice. They're looking at me with the camera, they're smiling. Very friendly. I'm surprised. Can't even do it. We're gonna go check out the change rooms now. They're already setting the tone with the X's on the ceiling. It looks like a model, kind of like trendy runway here. Okay, let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, let's go. Okay, so we have over here the sink and stuff. You have the mirror, beautiful mirror. You got some earwax. You got little your tips here. You got razors, comb. And if you grow like a crazy beard like I do, we got some shaving cream here for you. It's good, like, kind of like a Chinese New Year just vibes to me with the yellow and the red. Beautiful. Unfortunately, you got your individual showers. I kind of like to, you know, scope the members a bit, you know? And then look at this. This thing is huge. Look at the sauna. You could literally fit an entire football team in here. You could literally fit an entire football team in here. I got a call to make. Hot in here, shit. I don't even think Scoop Dog could hotbox this thing. Oh, 193.6. I pretty much did, like, undid my 30 day challenge in like a span of a week. I hate food. Is this what you call abstract art? Because it looks like this girl's getting absolutely <laughs> This is the studio in here. Look at this. You got like the, the battle ropes, you got these things if you want to start punching and and being a, little, being a little something here. We want to see the cool thing here. Look at this. See the lights up there? We want to make it a little bit more kinky in here. What color do you want? You want green? Okay, let's watch this. You have like an ogre Shrek themed orgy in here. I really like the name of this gym, Attitude Fitness, because getting in shape is all about having the right attitude and the things less important, like genetics and trend. Along with the gym, you also get access to the entire pool a beautiful bar over there, so it's definitely a five-star gym. Is it better than the cheap one? We're gonna find that out, but before we do that, we're going to the most expensive taco place in LA. This place is so bougie. I don't think you guys realize how underdressed I am. Every single person in there has like a button-up shirt and then I'm just, I'm just decked out in Gymshark, but let's go eat. They gave us on the house nachos and dip. Does not fit the macros, but that's fine. $44 for tacos. What? Is this in pesos, you think? Anda y prueba tu volar. No tengas miedo, mi Well, I ordered tacos and all I see is disappointments right now because for $44, I was expecting a lot more. I'm underwhelmed right now. Where's the cheese, man? Life is better with a little bit of cheese. It tastes like disposable income. It's just like pure salsa, guac, sauce. It's like if you buy a first class plane ticket to a short destination, you're paying all this extra money to end up at the same place. Like I'm not, I'm not really over, like I'm not, I'm not impressed right now. The tortilla chips though are freaking phenomenal. And this salsa, I might start injecting it. It's that good. Let's isolate this meat and see what's up here. It's gonna come really taste it. Yeah. I'm expecting each bite to be like a quest for $44, it's like $11 a taco. It just tastes like steak. I think it was like a four star, four stars, 3.8. Probably wouldn't come back. I think people come here 
because this is probably the most beautiful restaurant I've ever seen in my entire life. Like it, they must spend so much money that they're probably in debt. This is why they charge you as much for everything here. So they gave us this for free, and then the server was like, do you guys want guac for your chips? I'm like, yes. And I forgot to ask if it's extra, so we got this. How much do you guys think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be like $15, but we're gonna find out very soon. Time for the cheapest gym in LA at $20 a month, which is coincidentally also the worst reviewed gym at two stars. 24 hour fitness, two stars is it's really bad. And most of the reviews say it's extremely dirty. So it sounds like our immune systems are gonna be doing most of the training. Whenever we go to any of these worst gyms, we're gonna go incognito. So we're, we're gonna whip up the GoPro here. Sneaky boy activated. Two day passes was 50 bucks, so 25 bucks each. And I also saw someone deal someone drugs at the front desk right there, so. The energy in here is so bad. All the members are very standoffish right now. Just so far, not so good. What do you think's behind these doors? Literally none of the, the dumbbells on the rack are like put in the right spots. From like a bodybuilder, seeing all these like weights put away like this, it's like when your daughter comes home with like a drug dealing boyfriend. You just hate to see it, you know, you hate to see it. Oh, there's a lot of equipment here though. This gym's huge too. Some of these machines look like they've made it through the Cold War. They look so old, some of them. I like this one, this looks good, let's do this one. This machine feels really, Really good. One thing right away, way busier than the other gym, obviously, because it's only 20 bucks a month, but very well equipped. Just nothing's really put back. And they got to sweep a bit. But overall, 20 bucks a month, if you just want to come and lift and you don't care about the other like extras, so far, not bad. Oh, this is sick. If I had a basketball court in my home gym, I would do basketball cardio after every weight session. Can I get one shot? Oh. Oh, one more, last one. Oh, this is pretty neat. Oh, wow. Let's just hope that nobody was standing there when that came down. Look at this. You know what's also kind of funny? Despite the name being 24 hour fitness, it closes at 10 p.m. So if you wanted to come for a midnight leg day, would you be happy or sad? Comment down below. I would have used to been happy. I would have been sad now, I would have been sad. I love squatting. A lot of the machines here are really nice. Yeah, I like how this handle, you can kind of like move it to kind of fit the motion that works for you. Very comfortable. Oh, come on. That's how it should feel. Oh. What even is this? What is this? Is this like Jim Hunger Games? Whoa. Well, this is depressing. I gotta get out of here before I start to cry. Workout is done. I'm gonna need some tacos, but before we do that, we're gonna see what the other members think of this gym. Yo, Jack Show, can I ask you a quick question? Go ahead, go for it. First of all, what's your stack? Uh, vegetables. Trembolone sandwiches? Uh, if you could describe this gym in one word, what would it be? Um, wonderful. Wonderful? Yes. Good, I like this gym. You like this gym? Five, five stars. The only issue is that I think there's gonna be more people that find out about it and then it's gonna get packed. I don't know if you know this, but this is the worst reviewed gym in LA. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? It's two stars. Wow. The gym got renovated in April. That was before, before we'd open. I will say it's pretty good right now. Oh, I know there was like a whole reopen thing, so. Everyone's saying the new, oh, okay. Yeah. The revamped 24 yeah. hour fitness, yeah. which is not open 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they should be sued for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it seems like all the members like the gym. 24 hour fitness is a wrap. In my opinion, that is totally worth it. 20 bucks a month, that place is huge. It's well equipped, you cannot go wrong. 
it's one of those things that if you're gonna play that little, you have to sacrifice some things. You gotta sacrifice cleanliness. Some stuff is probably not where it should be. If I had to pick, obviously I like the more expensive one better, but it's, it's, it's pricey, so I'd probably see myself coming here. Time for the cheap tacos. We're at Tacos Gavilon. Some of the reviews, best and cheapest tacos in LA, best value, best bang for your buck. Seems like this is the real deal. 169, that's it. So we got four asada tacos. Not very, there's not really anything going on in here, but I'm fully expecting there's an abuela in the back that just wants to get her recipes into your mouth. So this meat's probably gonna taste absolutely phenomenal. And for the price, the entire thing, 836. Each taco was less than the drink. They're practically giving it away like a drunk girl on prom night. So I'm about to end this taco's whole career right now. I'm so hungry. I could take loads of this all night. The meat is so tender. It's just like, you don't even need to use teeth. You can taste the culture. The meat is spiced so perfectly. Mm. There's no like filler, there's no cheese. There's nothing to kind of hide the fact that the tortilla is really good. The meat is phenomenal. I'm gonna give it like four and a half stars. I'd like some onions, some cilantro and some stuff, but really good. Here I sit, choking on meat. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm choking on meat. Definitely preferred these tacos over Javier's. I know it might be hard to believe, but they were very simple and very tasty. To answer the question, if it's more expensive, does that mean it's better? Well, the answer is no. You're really paying a lot of times for a brand. You're paying to be in a specific place. Like Javier's, I was paying a lot to be there rather than the food. Whereas at this place, it's more about having the food. They care more about the food rather than just the experience. At the end of the day, price does not dictate value. You do. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.